Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. So in today's video we're going to be doing another unboxing. Um, as far as I'm aware there's five tarantulas in this box, I do believe. Um, I might be wrong because I kind of forgot what I ordered. Um, <laughs> but yeah, uh, please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. It really means a lot to me. I really like you know, for people that watch my videos and getting your opinions on the videos. I do really enjoy that. So if you do want to give me a like and a comment, it's much appreciated. So this order has come from Tarantulas Online and I've never used this company before so I'm really excited. So there's the Tarantulas. Just a watch out for my business card and everything here that I can show you guys. So obviously I know what I've got and you guys don't. So let's, if you are, please <laughs> get a parent to help you with the sharp knives. I'm not particularly safe for sharp knives and I'm an adult. So it's not package right below. Um, well, I can already see one of the tarantulas. Just trying to figure out. <laughs> to open up all of this without dropping any. Oh, these are all dinky. <laughs> these are all dinky tarantulas, guys. Um, right. That's it. There we go. There we go. Sorry. <laughs> Very professional. Okay. So, um, so there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven tarantulas in here. So, sorry, I've got a bit closer personal there. So the first one that I've got here is the Brachypelma albiceps. Um, oh my goodness, that is dinky. I can just see it through the gap. You guys aren't going to be able to see it. Well, obviously, you'll be able to see it when we do the rehousing. So, what else? I have also got a a geniculata. I'm not going to try and pronounce the genus because I will absolutely butcher it. Oh, he's a lot bigger than I was expecting. Um, it does look like that guy might have potentially molded in transit. Um, once again, guys, you'll get a much better image of all these when I do do the rehousings. Okay, what else have we got? Okay, I've also got a, another aging Aculata. So the reason I've got two is because... Oh, sorry. <laughs> you can see this one in the colours are coming through on it. Oh, I'm so excited. So the reason I've got two of these as opposed to one is because there was an issue when I ordered these where they went out of stock, so the owner of the company offered to send me two um, because of my weight and the inconvenience and I was under the impression that it was going to be one centimetre slings and they're not, they're actually quite big so it's up to now. Very happy. What else have we got? CV. Um, from its markings it looks like um, the orange tree spider I think it was. CV, I'm going to have to double check on that one. Um, oh, it's so pretty. But that's definitely one I didn't order. <laughs> so I've already got a freebie, which I'm really happy about. The Brachypelma Amelia. Oh my goodness, she's she's big. Oh, so excited. What else have we got? Okay, and then these are the last two. So this one is the Syracosmus elegans, also known as the Dwarf Tiger Tarantula. Um, I know it as the Heartbutt Tarantula, and I've wanted one of these guys for a while, as far as I'm aware, it's a 0.5cm sling, so it is going to be... Oh my goodness, that's way dinkier than I thought. Um, I don't even think the camera's going to pick it up, guys. It's absolutely dinky. Oh, I'm so excited. And then the next one that I got is a Pamphibetus species Cascada. So this was also an upgrade where I ordered the... Um, I ordered a different genus of Pamphibetus that was £15, and unfortunately there was an issue where they were out of stock. It must have been a case where me and somebody else ordered it at the exact same time, <laughs> and because I was already waiting on my order, they sold out. But once again, the owner of the company upgraded me to the Cascara, which I believe was £9 more, and he didn't charge me any extra, which I think is fantastic. Um, obviously, I'm really excited for you guys to see this one, and I'm excited to see this one because they are um, they have really nice markings on their abdomen and when they get older they can go one of two ways obviously the males get really pretty colours on them from what i've looked upon this they get to a quite dark purple and um, like lines on them that kind of thing and the females get almost jet either really dark brown to jet black in coloration and um, so i'm really excited for this one guys but yeah let's get on with the rehousings hi guys so the first tarantula that i'm going to start rehousing is the agent uh, i'm going to be putting it into this enclosure i've chosen to go this one first because as you can see he is ready to come out so hopefully this is a relatively easy rehouse um generally this species is quite nice however not really sure 
what these ones are like, per se. I hope you can see like the rehousing in process. <laughs> Again. Just bolted straight back in there. Catch up. That is what I'm forgetting. Catch up. I'm just gonna lean it there whilst I get my catch up. Don't do a rehousing without a catch up, guys. Um, right, so this guy doesn't seem like he wants to come out at the moment. So let's try again. I don't... This enclosure should be perfect for him for all the time being. Oh. oh, wow. They are absolutely stunning. Now, this is a species that I just personally love so much. Um, when I went to the pet shop, there were a really common species to come through the shop, so... I have quite a bit of experience with them, and the ones that I worked with weren't particularly the friendliest, which is why I'm a little bit nervous. <laughs> um, this is actually the only species that I've ever worked with that has thrown me a threat shot, which is why I was a little bit nervous. But yeah, that's that guy rehoused, you can just see them there. So they've got a water dish, they've got some moss, and they've got a hide in there. So let's on to the next one. I think I'm going to rehouse the other Agenicular just so they're both done and sorted, and then we can get on to another one. Hey guys, so about to rehouse the next Agenicula. So this one has once again got a water dish, some moss, a substrate, and I've got two leaves as hides because I'm running out of core park and obviously with everything that's going on, I'm struggling to get some. So let's get on to rehousing this little guy. Um, also guys, also rehousing this one, let me know what you think about the angle um, because obviously I'm using a tripod today rather than balancing my camera on soap. There's a little guy. So let me know what you think about the angle, if you like it or not. It'd be highly appreciated. Come on, you little guy. I'm hoping I can kind of trap the tissue paper and pull that up. It doesn't like he wants me to do that, but oh, he's coming out. Nope. There we go. <laughs> Okay, so little request probably it didn't oh, there isn't. Sorry about one. So you can just see him there. Really pretty species guys. Obviously they probably won't be staying in these for long. Because for anybody that does keep the species, they are quite quick growers. Um which is another reason that I wanted them to get relatively big and I like my bigger tarantulas. Where are you hidden now? He's like hidden all the way down in this corner, so you're gonna struggle to see him. I also want to apologise for all the mess. I'm making enclosures as I go along because I wasn't sure what the sizes were gonna be on some of these tarantulas. Um, so yeah, sorry about the mess. <laughs> so the next one I'm gonna be rehousing is the Brachypelma species Amelia. So once again, water bowl. Managed to fish up some more cork bark, so cork bark hide, substrate, just a little bit of moss and a leaf. So I'm going to be very cautious with this one because she is at the top waiting to come out. So I'm just kind of going to open it in straight away. Oh no, that's actually her bum. I thought that was... She's big. So I'm going to see if we can entice her out a little bit. I feel like all of the tarantulas want to face the wrong way today. Oh, she is beautiful. Oh, she's absolutely stunning. Now, for anybody that knows me, they know that I love the Brachypelma and the Tilted Cattle, which is the ex Brachypelma species. Um, I think they're absolutely beautiful tarantulas. So I'm really happy to have this one in my collection slash family now. Um, I love all my spiders. I see them as part of the family, but I know that people class them as a collection. Yeah, I think she's absolutely beautiful. Look at that big butt. I just needed to like move off of the cork box. I feel like that's gonna be way. There we go. And like I said, you can just see a big butt there. So I think the next one that I'm gonna do is the um, elegans because I think this one's just gonna go into one of the pill pots purely because of how small it is and I feel like anything like this I'm gonna struggle with monitoring feeding that kind of thing so let's get on to that one. So the next one I'm gonna be rehousing is the elegans Um, obviously it's just in this small pot at the moment because of how small the sling is. I have given it a little leaf that I've cut out of a bigger one so that it has got that option to hide under it however from what I've looked up they are a species that prefer to burrow when they're younger. Sorry for taking it off the screen there guys so I don't know if you can actually 
Yeah, right there. So she's absolutely dinky. Oh, so cute. Honestly, guys, I don't even know how I'm actually going to rehouse her. Um, she's so small. I think I'm going to try cutting the bottom off of this and pushing her through the top. Obviously, she's nowhere near where I'm cutting, if you can see that. And this is just basically going to make it a lot easier for me because I really don't want to hurt her and accidentally squish her. Obviously, with the other guys, a lot bigger tarantula, a lot less risk of that. This one, a much smaller tarantula, potential risk of squishing. So... Yeah guys, let's get into that. I am really sorry that my hands keep going off the screen, by the way. It's just... Oh. I don't know if you can see her there. But, um... Nope. Yeah, she's already starting to burrow, bless her. I'm going to take this out. I'll just give you one last look at her. So she's right down. If it's going to focus, she's right next to my finger here. Um, obviously she's not got her markings on yet. What's that? Yes, it is. <laughs> it says with Z, but that's because I misplaced all of my pill vials and then found them when I'd already set this up. So I'm just going to leave her in this and try and wipe this off or change the lid at some point. So it's really cool. I'm really happy that I've actually got one of these guys now. Yeah. Um, I think the next one I'm going to do is the um, Brachypelma albiceps. I'm not really sure how big it is. Um, I originally planned on putting it in an enclosure that was the same size as the first three that I did, however I think that that might be a bit too big for it, but we'll have a look. And last but not least guys, the Pamphibetus um, Cascada, Cascadi, very nosy. So once again, it's facing downwards because why wouldn't it be? This is the enclosure that I've got set up, so it's got a leaf, some moss, it has got a slightly bigger enclosure than the other, the, 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 I can't get my words out today guys, it has got a slightly bigger enclosure than the other ones because it is slightly bigger. So let's get on to this one. Now you might just be able to see its butt there. Like I said, this species has an absolutely stunning abdomen when they're younger. So. Oh. Yeah, it's just going straight back inside, bless it. Almost had our own. Gonna go in with the big boys. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so I'm just gonna go digging in there with my bigger tongs. There we go. Absolutely stunning. I oh, look at that abdomen. <laughs> um, this is an absolutely stunning genus of spider. Um. Tarantula, sorry. There are multiple species within the genus that have this abdomen mark. I know of three. Um, I don't know if all of them have these abdomen marks or if it is just the three that I know of. Oh. First proper bolt of the day. Oh. Oh. Apparently this guy's got attitude. <laughs> you got attitude or you just stuck? <laughs> Let's see what we can do. I think there's a threat posture. Posture. No. Okay, come on. Can you try to move this? I think you might quite like. I'm going to entice him to go upwards. I really don't want him running up my tongue, so that's my. Uh, main thing right now. Another little bolt there, but nothing too serious. Um, yeah. So, once again, I've misplaced a lid. Well done, Courtney. But yeah, I do think this genus is absolutely stunning. Um, you just want to be out. <laughs> Obviously, this guy is a little menace up to now. I've really misplaced that lid, guys. Oops. Oh, bugger. <laughs> Will you guys watch him for a minute? <laughs> It. Oh, 
see this could potentially be a case of it being in primo and it's struggling to stand on the sides because it doesn't particularly look like he's threat posturing I think he was just struggling. He's got very long legs. <laughs> I said absolutely beautiful tarantula guys. I'm over the moon with this one. I'm gonna put the lid on for it bolts again. Because <laughs> the last thing we want isn't getting out again. So there we go. Hey guys, so the last one that we're going to be having today is this mystery freebie, which is the um, orange tree spider. It's the gigas, but I can't remember what the genus is. Um, they are a really underrated species, according to a lot of the keepers I've spoken to. So this is the enclosure that I've got for it. I do have a slightly bigger enclosure waiting for it. It's just at the moment, I feel like, because of how small it is, it would just squeeze out of that. So this is going to be fine for it for now. It's got plenty of substrate, so it can burrow.